Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, but I've been posting a lot of YouTube shorts, but a lot has changed in the fish room. As you can see, I have these new fish, and pretty much every single fish in the fish room right now is a new fish. Uh, these guys are a species of Gadaid, and that is mostly what I'm keeping right now. I have about seven species right now, and these are Chapalicthes pardalis. You can see that young male right there, and this big male. My dominant male just came to the front right here. And I have successfully bred these guys. You can see one of the bigger fry that was born here, and then one of the smaller ones that was born in the past couple of weeks. And I have two long, thin, green dragon plecos in with them. You can see this one right here. And then I'm not exactly sure where the other one is. But most of the tanks now are 20 gallon talls. You can see there's 12 of them right there. And I'll have another four down here. I just need to buy them. But this next tank has Xenotoka lion's eye. Um, I have two males and then the rest are females. I think I have seven in total. But they're in here with a whole bunch of baby plecos that I've bred. They're a little bit hard to see, but this is one that I didn't breed. I just have growing up in here. You can see that little guy right there. And this nice, one of the nice males up front here. And then next to them is Xenotoka Dodori. And I have a lot of these guys. These guys have been super successful for me. You can see all the little, little fry swimming around in there. And I have, I think, three males and four females. Or it could be three females and four males. But in the tank next to them, there are Zerganodicus tequila, the, the tequila split fin. You can see the that there's a pair. I have a reverse trio. Uh, so far I haven't been able to breed these guys, but I'm hoping that soon they will. And then I have two little tiny green dragon plecos in here, but you, c you can see that he is definitely displaying, it's just a matter of her developing fry, and there's one of the uh, green dragons, and this is my newest species in the fish room, you can see the water's a little bit cloudy, and over after I do a couple water changes on it, it'll clear up, but these are Amica Splendens, the butterfly split fin. I have seven of these guys. I have a pair and then five young. And these guys still have, have to color up, but that'll happen in the next couple of months as I grow them out and breed them. And then I have these three tanks that are ready for new species. I am currently waiting on some Iliadon fursidens, the Trout Gadeid, but those will probably not go in these tanks. They will go in the 65 gallon tank that is right here. And as you can see, very large tank. But let's move down to the bottom 20 gallons that I have. Uh, these are, this is a tank of least killifish. And if I zoom in right here, you can see a brand new fry. Now these guys are really tiny. You can see it compared to the tip of my finger. That they are extremely small. I'm pretty sure the, they are the world's lar not largest, smallest live bear. And here's another one up top here that's a little bit bigger. Then I have a pair of albino bristlenose in here. And all the plecos I have in the fish room are bristlenose. 
Now I have some Scyphia multiplantata. Um, I'm not saying any of the collection locations. Um, I have YouTube shorts of pretty much every Gadeid I have in here, so you can check those out if you want to see the collection locations on all of them. But you can see there's a lot of males. I'm very male heavy, but I have been able to breed them. I'm sorry if the camera's a little shaky. But I have these two in here that have been growing up with the adults. And then behind me I have a whole bunch of fry that I will show shortly. Uh, this tank isn't doing all that well, but I, I am working on it. These are Basilia vellifera. These are the giant Yucatan sailfin molly. You can see that one is struggling with its spine. I'm not exactly sure what's happening. That developed over the past couple of days. But I will eventually be moving them into a 29 gallon tank and then maybe the 65 until I can grow up the Iliadon fursidans. Now this tank only has a pair of plecos. It's the parents of the little ones that you saw in the second tank. But they're in hiding as plecos usually do. Now let's move on to the 29 gallon aquariums that I have on this side. I currently have four of them and that's really all I can fit in here. But these are the Xiphophorus helleri that I had. You can see they've grown up quite nicely and the tank has definitely changed since the last time. And you can see the longfin lemon blue eyes are a lot more active and are out a lot more. I did get them to breed, but the male ate the eggs. You can see his tail there behind. And I put a little little short fin in here as well. But in the tank next to them I have Xiphophorus Maie. There's two males and then four females. These guys have bred but I'm pretty sure they ate the fry. They're gonna be really hard to see but you can kind of see the males sword right there. The nice shimmering blue in the back. Let's see if I can... The camera doesn't want to focus on them, but... I have those guys in this 29 gallon. And then, let me turn on the lights of these aquariums. These are the Scyphia Multiplantata Fry. You can see four of them right up front here. And then as you continue to look through the guppy grass, there's a lot more. And that is really all as far as Gadeids. Obviously I have green water tanks that I need to clean. Because I'm not particularly a fan of them. The five gallons are really what I'm, what I'm struggling with to keep them from going green. But... I have this one and then these two that are green. And this one has a little tiny rice fish that I bred. This is a black rice fish. And then I have a nail right here. But that is everything for the fish room right now. As I get more species and more tanks set up, I will definitely be making more videos on them and hopefully you guys did enjoy I know it has been a while since I posted an actual video but stay tuned for future aquarium updates